All right, everyone. We're still at the Cooler Master Suite, and now we're going to be taking a look at some of the innovations that Cooler Master is working with CoolChip. And this is called Kinetic Cooling. So we have Will from CoolChip here, and he's going to go over this for you and give you a rundown on how it's being implemented, why, and how it works. Thanks for that. So kinetic cooling just refers to figuring out a way to transfer heat onto a rotating structure. So that the simplest explanation I can provide is that we've combined the heat sink and the fan into one assembly. You can see that here. Usually what you have is a plastic fan and a block of metal. And if you, if you look at the, the, the volume involved for each part, they roughly occupy 50-50 uh, of a split. So we asked a simple question, can you combine those two assemblies into one? When you do that, everything becomes half the size. We've got an interesting demo here where we fix the size, we fix the amount of heat removal. This is a one new server application, but listen to what happens when we uh, turn on uh, a commercial part. So here I've got our kinetic cooling engine is running. It's been running the whole time I've been speaking. Here's what happens when I turn on this guy. You can probably pick up some of that audio. It's about a 20 dB delta in sound, or roughly 100 times quieter. And uh, the, the real key insight is you have a structure that sits on your heat load, CPU, GPU, whatever you have, for conducting heat through a thin layer of air onto this rotating structure. The impeller part moves the air, forces the convection, takes the heat away, and lo and behold, you have something that is smaller, quieter, provides better cooling. We're working with Cooler Master on what will be a first product that we will launch later this year. It'll look uh, something like this. This is hardware that Cooler Master has built. This is a, a sample that they've built uh, with us. You see we've got a heat pipe assembly built in there, kinetic cooling engine in the center. The idea is that the engine moves quite a bit of air and by adding some surface area on the outside, we can enhance the thermal performance even more. So look out for this later this year. Uh, kinetic cooling for retail gaming applications. All right, everyone. We're here in the back suite of Cooler Master again, and we're with Jonathan. And Jonathan is going to show us V Digital Power Supply, which, as you can see, is an app for the phone. It's for the digital power supplies. It, it communicates with the power supply via the power supply, not via the connector in real time. And he's also going to tell you a little bit about vapor chambers. So go ahead, John. Thanks, Paul. Actually, this is a mock-up sample based on a 1,500-watt titanium power supply. What we've done is we added a whole new level of functionality on top of it. We do have the Bluetooth, which is streaming live information, outputs and inputs, to my Android phone app right here. So it will also show the individual rails. So for those of you who are overclockers, you'll be able to see the regulation. We'll be adding logging features in our initial release, which is about six months from now. Um, also, you'll be able to set your own fan profiles all remotely. So you can see the live demo, I just sent it to silent, and it just turned the fan right off. Including that, we'll have some social media functions, including uh, you can post your efficiency on social media websites and also calculate how much power you're using. All of this will be available on the Cooler Master V Digital series from 1500 as well as 1200 wattage. Over here we have a technology rather than just a product. Normal manufacturing has separate heat pipes and a heat pipe base, but actually this is something new from Cooler Master. This is a combined, what we call a 3D vapor chamber. It combines the traditional heat pipe structures. Instead of being soldered to a, a solid base or direct contact, this is actually one solid vacuum chamber. It has the same wicking material. It has the same um, uh, thermal interface and material inside. And all of this will yield better performance as well as be cost competitive with current solutions. So you can see on a, on a mock-up that we have here how it compares to the regular uh, attached um, heat pipes. This type of technology will be available uh, sometime this year from Cooler Master. Okay, everyone. That's it for the Cooler Master Suite. We hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you keep on watching our coverage for CES 2015. Stay thirsty, my friends, and bye-bye.